Hey, Fraser family. You ever heard of mulching? You ever, like, when people clear land, they do, they mulch the trees instead of chopping them down? Well, that's what I'm getting done today. They've already started, but I can actually see, like, a path being made. And, oh my goodness, it's, it's gonna be so nice out here. Alrighty, so I'm coming down. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm coming down my backyard and I don't wanna to get too, too close, but for anybody who doesn't know what this is and what this process entails, mulching, uh, a lot of people use this to clear land. And this is me just walking down my driveway here. It's a little wet back here because it rained. So I want to just kind of see what progress is being made and make sure like everything is good. But yeah. Oh my God. Are you okay? Oh God. I know y'all saw that. Y'all saw that. I got that on camera. Okay. Let me just whew, breathe for a minute here. Okay, so the guy is okay. Um, his leg is is in pretty bad, or his foot is in pretty bad shape right now. But the guy driving the mulching machine is going to take him uh, to the doctor and get him some help. Um, and we'll continue to pick up this um, process. Um, I don't know if they're going to do it today or tomorrow, but um, they'll finish doing the job. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> that was kind of scary. Well, that wasn't kind of scary. That was scary. So, lesson of the day is... Be careful. Always keep your head on a swivel. Oh, God. Oh. Whew. All right. Okay, so I just had a little walk. I'm out of breath because that's, that's a long hike up there. Whew. I um, just had a little conversation with the, um, the mulching guy, the mulching company guy, and... Um, the work is okay. He's fine. Don't think that anything is broken. I'm just, I was a little shooken up. But, you know, they say these things, accidents happen all the time. And it's okay. Uh, we took a little walk. I'm going to bring you along with me a little bit later. But we took a little walk um, just kind of see, like, what his plan is, what the what progress he did make. Because he did not um, shred up a few trees out there. So we'll take a little walk later, get the game plan. Um, so I can see, not the game plan, but see how further along he is. Um, right now, he just kind of, he's just kind of making like a little, he's clearing out all the small stuff so that when it's time to cut down or mulch down some of the bigger trees, he has more working room. Um, as you can see, the machine is, is about the size of like a small forklift. It's not that big for what it does. Um. But I'm really happy when you walk back there, the ground just seems so much softer with that mulch on it. And you can smell that fresh, those fresh chips. It smells good, actually. I never thought I would say that, but um, it smells really, it smells nice back there. So I can see why they say when you do these things, the deer come out like in twofold. And it just so happened my neighbor came home, right? And was like, hey girl, I'm like, oh Lord, she's gonna be like, what is going on over here? You're on the house now. But, <laughs> but I'll give her a, a text and a call later just to make sure like they know what's going on, which I think I already told them because it's a lot it's a lot of noise. But everything's back on track. I'll bring you along with me, like I said, later this afternoon and you'll see like how this thing go. I don't want to go out there while he's out there motion because Stuff be flying everywhere. I mean, the limbs and stuff, the branches, it's just too much flying for me. But it's going to look real nice when he's done. And I'm excited to be able to um, put the rest of the things that I want out there on the homestead. So, stay tuned. 
All right, it's a new day. We're gonna get out here and I wanna show you what has been done so far, okay? I wanna show you what has been done so far. So we're walking down the hill, <laughs> okay? Walking down the hill and I wanna show you what has been done so far. So I'm just trying not to step in a big old hole of my uneven ground down here. And I wanna show you what this done. I am very, very impressed. Very impressed despite uh, what happened yesterday. Um, good progress was still made. And I am excited for how this is gonna end up. Okay, I'm very excited. I don't know what kind of wood this is. That's pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. So, we're leaving a 10 foot parameter. So where you see the um, pink ribbons, so 10 feet from the pink ribbon. So this tree right here, this tree will probably stay, okay? So if you look at this, okay, I actually get to see what the, I actually get to see the landscape, you know, like the, the really good terrain of this. He got a lot, I didn't realize he got this much cleared off. He got a lot cleared off. Okay. So now we get to see exactly what we're working with. This tree right here, this tree's going to have to go. You're going to have to come down. I'm going to need you to come down. Because I want this middle pretty much cleared. You guys right here, you guys are going to have to come down. You guys are going to have to come down. All right. I want to walk on this side a little bit. I'm not going to go all the way back because, again, this is a two-acre lot. So, and it's a, it's a very long lot. So, it's very rectangular, not um, square. Okay. That's his machine right there. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna leave my machine here. I said, okay. I said, anybody, can anybody steal it? Can they? He's like, no, they can't steal it. I'm like, okay. So down there where the little pink sticks are, I think he's gonna clear some of these. So this tree right here is gonna go. This tree right here probably need to go. Okay. Cause I need, I need the middle cleared. I need the middle cleared. But this right here, you guys, I never knew walking on mulch would be so, like, soft. Walking on mulch is really soft. You see my feet? You see me walking? It's really soft back here. I know the spiders are real upset with me right now because I don't tow down their homes. They'll be all right. They'll find a new home. But, yeah. So, I'm going to go look at this tree over here real quick. But again, this goes all the way back. All the way back. There's more than what you see me walking here. So he's going to clear all of this out. And he's going to come back through after he do, when he do his final pass. And it's going to be, this is going to be not as, you see how it's still kind of like, like a lot of big pieces is going to be smaller than that gonna be a lot smaller than that but yeah this is this is nice very nice oh I can see <laughs> I can see I'm gonna tell you something in a minute I'm gonna tell you something in a minute but let's let's walk a little bit more I ain't too far from the house but this is the first time I've been back here by myself and the other time I'm scared to walk back here honestly but this is the first time I'm out here by myself. And it's early morning. Perfect time for deer hunting. So see, it goes, it still goes all the way back. It still goes all the way back. Because there's a ribbon right there, but that's not the end. Because the end, the corners, they have um, like T-posts in the corners. So there's still more. <laughs> there's still more to be cleared. But I'm amazed at what this looks like today. Amazed. This is gonna be. 
All right. So that's why I was having a conversation with the guy yesterday. He said, have you met your neighbor next to you? I'm assuming he's talking the house up there. And I'm like, no. He's like, well, you're fortunate. He said, the guy rolled up on me on his four-wheeler and asked me how much was I cutting down. And he told him, well, I'm not cutting down anything. The owner of this house right here is cutting down because uh, she wants usable space. And he was like, are you, is, is, are you gonna leave a, a little bit? Like you're not gonna cut blah, 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 blah. He's like, I'll cut whatever she tells me to cut because this is her project, not mine. And I'm like, the, the nerve, like the neighborly thing to do would be to come and ask me what my plan is. Introduce yourself and say, hey, just curious. I see you got your, your property marked off. Okay, you got your property marked off, but you mind if I asked you how much um, parameter you're leaving? That would have been a neighborly thing to do, right? It's all good though. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I'm not tripping. I just think it's funny. I just think it's funny. Okay? So, we're going to go back in the house because this is cold. It's 36 degrees out here, y'all. It's 30. It's good. It's cold. It is cold, okay? It is cold. So, we're going to go back in the house. And uh, I keep I keep bringing you along for the for the journey because um, this right here that's just the beginning of the journey. That's 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 how the journey starts right there. <laughs> There's more to come. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a final walkthrough so everybody can see how this looks when it's fully cleared. Had a little. We'll treat it on fill down right there. I don't have a saw or anything to chop this up to do anything with, so it's just gonna lay right there for now. We're gonna walk all the way to the back and I'm gonna show you what this looks like cleared. It is super nice back here. Now that all of these, the big, like not the big trees, but the little stuff has been cleared. It is really nice back here. I can actually see like things about my neighbor's property. There's a loud truck passing by. Sorry about that. I can actually see some of my neighbor's property back there that I've never seen before. So that's really cool. But yeah, we're just gonna take a little walk. Got some more branches down. This is actually really nice back here. So Cutting down or mulching down those, just the smaller trees and a couple of the bigger ones has cleared up a lot of space for me. So this area right here, let me step back a little bit. This area right here will be ideal for a shed at this point and I can actually have a chicken coop on the side of it. I don't need a huge shed. I just need something like small. But this would be a good place to put it and have a chicken coop on that side over there. However, I feel like I need all of this right here most down. Yeah, I feel like I need all that most down. So there may be more mulching ahead. All right, we're continuing on back. And again, I live on a 2.01 acre lot here. I'm not in a, I'm in a subdivision, but not like an HOA. Um, I'm off of a, like a, just a main street. There's no gate or anything like that. All right, we're coming into the next big opening that I have back here. So starting from here all the way down there, this would be a really good spot. I can back up a little bit. 
this right here, this space right here would be a really good spot for me to put another structure like a guest house or a barn or a tiny house. Something else I want to put in this space right here because it's really long here. There's plenty of room to put another structure here. Okay, there's more and it's so open and it's so nice. Oh my goodness, I feel that sun beaming on me. It's just, it's just beautiful back here. It's just so beautiful. That's the side over there. So this is a, like a rectangular size lot, not a square lot, so it's very, long and kind of narrow but I love it I absolutely I absolutely love it back here I go around this way um, I have no clue what half these trees are back here <laughs> but if somebody recognizes some of these beautiful trees and you want to put in the comments what they are, feel free to do so. All right. We're kind of almost at the back back here. And you can kind of tell, like right here, where there may have been like another tree kind of close, and he like scratched it. There's some interesting sap coming off that tree. But okay, we'll keep on going. And it's not nearly as creepy as I thought. I was talking to my neighbor uh, and she was like, I'm not going back in those woods. We got snakes back there. I'm like, I don't see no snakes around mine. Um, and for anyone else who want to or thinking about a dream like this, just know that it can be accomplished. You can do this. It just takes focus, some dedication, and some commitment. And some budgeting. <laughs> but it is possible. Alright, I'm headed back down to the house. And that is all. Until next time, don't give up on your hopes and dreams. They are possible to be achieved. Bye.